Uh, good morning, good morning, grade 9. We meet again in natural sciences. Uh, we continue our topic on biological processes. Today I want to talk about cells, tissues, organs, and the body systems that ultimately form the living organism. Uh, in our previous uh, lessons, we discussed the cells which we said are the smallest individual living units that we find inside our bodies. But these cells being small, the cells being small, uh, we also have got uh, other small structures that we find inside the cells and we call them cell organelles. Uh, we said you must understand the, the nucleus, you must understand the mitochondrion, which is the powerhouse, you must understand uh, cytoplasm, you also have to know the cell membrane and their functions, the vacuole, uh, and the differences between a, an animal cell and a plant cell. However, in reality, the basic structure of these cells is the same, but the, the duties, the functions, what they do inside our bodies is slightly different because of this specialization, because of these different uh, functions they perform inside the bodies, we say these cells are differentiated. We say these cells are specialized specialized for what to perform particular tasks that 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 are that are required by the body systems now when a group when a group of such cells which are specialized say when a group of cells with a particular function which can execute a particular function are grouped together they form what we call the tissue a tissue, uh, a group of cells that have the same bodily function, which are specialized to perform the same function. You must know and remember four tissues, which are the muscle tissue, epithelial cells, epithelial tissue, nerve tissue, and the blood, those four, you must also remember them and how the structure of these cells look like. I'm just going to show you brief, shortly how they look like. But should these tissues come together also to perform bigger tasks in the body, they form what we call organs. They form what we call organs. Organs are a group of tissues that are made up of uh, cells which perform the same function, cells which are specialized in the same way. These organs are even much bigger than tissues. Uh, you can think of the heart, you can think of the kidney, the liver, your lungs, your brain. Those become the organs of the body. When these organs now, are coordinated and many of them they are linked together coordinated to do even a bigger task in the body they form what we call the system what am i talking about if you've got the mouth which is an organ with the stomach with the intestines with your colon inside the body they form now a system like which system like i just mentioned it forms what we call the digestive system uh, organs, multiple organs which are coordinated to perform particular bodily systems. Now what happens to these systems should they come together? Now they form what we call an organism, an organism like the human being. A human being has got seven distinct systems that are inside the body. I'm going to shortly show you the seven systems that you must know 
drawing, labeling, giving functions of each organ on those seven bodily systems which make up a an organism. I was telling you about the the cells which are specialized, guys. Uh, this is a summary of how the cells look like. How are they adapted to perform the task they we discussed here, the epithelial cells, you must remember this diagram, what we call the micrograph. <clears throat> you must be able to identify muscle cells. You must be able to identify nerve cells, the cells that are specialized to carry messages and coordinate the functions of the body. If you touch a hot object, messages are sent to the system so that you quickly remove your hand <coughs> from the stove. We have got also the blood cells, red blood cells, for example. We also have white blood cells there. You must know their functions and so forth. Uh, which bodily systems? I said there are seven in the human beings as living organisms. Uh, so, in summary, we are saying we got the cells, if they are grouped together, they form tissues. Should tissues be grouped together to perform a particular function, they form organs like the heart, the brain, the kidney. When these organs work together, they form a system. So from the cells, as we are moving onwards here, cells are becoming bigger and bigger and bigger and I am forming now multicellular organisms, cells, tissues, organs, systems, and ultimately we have got the organism. Muscle tissues forming tissue of the stomach, and they are part of the stomach is an organ, which is also part of the digestive system. And this digestive system is one of the main systems that we find in organisms whereby food is taken into the body used by the body and ultimately thrown out of the body this is a summary of cells tissues organs and systems and ultimately formation of organisms which body systems are we going to be talking about next week guys we are going to be talking about the digestive system this one, you know it. It's all about uh, intake of food and the utilization of food inside the body. We've got the respiratory system where we are having the, na the nose, mouth, the trachea, the lungs, and so forth, where we are taking in air and out. The excretion, where we are now talking about um, throwing out of waste metabolic waste from the body we've got the circulatory system this is all to do with blood circulating blood supplying food blood supplying oxygen to all body parts to all the cells so that the respiration can take place and then the waste are also taken back by blood uh, we've got the nervous system very important also We've got the muscular skeletal system, a coordination of muscles and the skeleton. And we are, oh, lastly have the reproductive system where living organisms are producing or they are forming offsprings. Offsprings, we are going to be talking the male reproductive system and the female reproductive systems as two different reproductive systems guys we are going to be looking at this as of next week i hope this video finds you well thank you guys keep reading see you next time bye bye